briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1978, the Supreme Court of California heard the case of People v. Wetmore, which focused on whether evidence of mental illness causing a lack of specific intent can be used by a defendant to argue that they did not commit a crime. The defendant in a burglary case, initially found guilty, was later found to be legally insane. However, psychiatric reports on the defendant's mental illness were not used during the guilt phase of the trial. The victim testified that he found the defendant inside his apartment, wearing his clothes and cooking his food, having broken the front door lock, and with items of the victim's property missing. The defendant was subsequently arrested. The issue at hand was whether the defendant's mental illness should have been considered during the guilt phase of the trial and whether he should be subject to civil commitment proceedings. The defendant argued that he lacked the specific intent required for conviction of burglary due to mental illness. Upon further review, the court held that the defendant's evidence established that he lacked the specific intent required for conviction and therefore should not have been found guilty. The trial court erred by not considering such evidence, resulting in a reversed judgment and a remanded case. The court recommended that the legislature re-evaluate statutes on bifurcated trials and suggested the possibility of civil commitment proceedings in cases like this. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.